it's Mari Clark here. I am going to be creating today with some gorgeous products from Pink and Main as part of our SCT birthday celebration this week. And I am going to be unboxing this amazing pink mink machine from Pink and Main. It is actually so much fun. Uh, this product is just really, really wonderful. Super, super easy to use. And I'm gonna show you some really great ways that you can create with it today. Now, what I really loved about the packaging is this box has this really awesome handle. So you can save this and transport your mink around with you if you go to a crop and that kind of thing. It also includes some foilable sheets, this um, camera and adventure, a sheet and full instructions as well as a carrier sheet. This plastic um, sheet here is for taking your products through the mink and you also have included a foiling sheet in gold and in silver. So I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to run this machine and foil with it today. Now I'm just going to uh, show you here what comes in the box as well as far as the packaging. You have some really great styrofoam that protects the mink on the ends and then it is completely covered here with a plastic bag and then there's a little layer of plastic coating to protect that pink finish on this gorgeous little machine so it's very pretty I love the pink and gold and black and there is of course the setting the heat settings on the top and I do have this heating up to the third setting now also I'm going to be working with some pink and main foilables today this packet that I'm showing you here is part of the make a wish bundle it's really cute. Um, it comes with these a bunch of different foilable sheets in the package. And I'm going to sh be showing you here what these look like. So you do get two different um, or two sheets of each of the different backgrounds. So there's a candle, birthday candle background. You get two sheets of those. Then you're also going to get a balloon background and then a diagonal dot. So these are great. So these are all your toner sheets that are going, are going to work with the foil. And then there's also some little embellishment and sentiment pieces as well here, two sheets of embellishment and sentiments. There's a coordinating stamp set that works beautifully with the foils and also a die set. So when I say it works with the foils, the images coordinate with the foilables, which is very cool. I'm also going to show you a couple of the cheer foils from Pink and Main. This is the rainbow and then this is the cobalt blue. So really love those. And also Pink and Main has foilable sheets and I'm going to show you how you can use these. These are full size sheets of paper that you can foil onto and these um, that I'm going to show you here are just the most beautiful colors so I'm just going to show you you get I think there's six sheets in this pack and I'm just going to fan these out so you can kind of see what the colors are like you get two of each and they're just absolutely beautiful and they're so stunning when you foil these uh, again like I said I will show you how you can work with these foilable sheets as well so that's those. Now what I've done here is I have my carrier sheet, my little carrier envelope, so to speak, that's clear plastic. I have one of those backgrounds with the candles and then I have a piece of the rainbow foil over top. So with the foiling here with this type of a system, you always put the pretty side up. And so I have that um, foiling against the toner sheet. I'm running it through my machine inside of the carrier sheet and it is set on number three which is works beautifully when the piece comes out of the out of the mink it's great to just let it sit on your surface and let it cool a little bit i am working on a silicone mat here today and there's the peel reveal you can just see how gorgeous that is just perfect for die cutting for a background whatever it is that you would like to use that for for a project now I'm going to take the negative. So what's left over from foiling that I'm going to take that sheer foil and I'm going to put that on top of one of those foilable papers that I showed you put that inside the carrier um, envelope and I'm going to put that through the mink machine again here and you can just see it running through there and it 
doesn't take very long for this to go through the mink machine at all. And once you have that, again, like I said, you can just let that cool off a little bit. And once it's cooled, you can do the peel reveal here. I'm going to take that foil off of there and there you or the carrier sheet off of there. And you can just see how beautiful that is foiled over top of the foilables. So that's gorgeous. So that's, there's absolutely no waste. You can just chuck out the, the plastic that's left over that has no foil left on it. Now, another great thing that you should do before you foil is take, um, this is a Swiffer cloth, cloth, but you can use like any sort of clean cloth that you have in your space. Wipe off the toner sheet and the foil just to make sure there's no dust or lint or anything that might prevent the foil from sticking to the toner. If that should happen, you might get a little black dot where the foil doesn't stick. So it's great just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and free of any dust or debris before you put it through the machine. So now you can just see I've got um, some of the cobalt blue on that balloon background toner sheet and we'll do the peel reveal here and you can just see how gorgeous that is as well. This is so fun. I actually became addicted to foiling with this pink and main pink machine uh, pink and ma main mink machine during this uh, creative process. I just wanted to foil everything. So here you can just see I'm going to use the negative of that balloon. Um, piece onto the foilable again and create another background. So when you're creating with your mink, when you've got it out like this, it's just really great to just get a bunch of things foiled and then have a place in your craft space where you store these and then you can just reach for them when you're creating to include these beautifully foiled pieces for your project. So look how gorgeous that is. You can see the foilable paper there in the background and then the foil over top. Now I couldn't resist, of course, I had to foil some of these sentiment foilables as well. So I'm going to foil this sheet here with the rainbow foil again, and I'm just going to run that through the mink and I will let that cool and then peel the foil off. And you can just see you have the most beautiful rainbow sentiments for your project. So just love that so much. I think that's gorgeous. Then I had to make some cobalt blue details and so on and so on. <laughs> so here's some more with the rainbow foil, with the ice creams and more of the sentiments just so beautiful. Now I'm showing you here how the dies coordinate so well with this Make-A-Wish bundle. You can just go ahead and take your tape and tape the dies on and run that through your die cutting machine. And here you can see how great these look when they're all die cut out. They just look so fantastic. The dies just leave just a tiny little bit of a white border, which I love. And now we've got some really great sentiments and different little embellishment pieces for projects. So really, really great. We've got celebrate, happy birthday, make a wish. Wonderful. And then of course, you could also use a coordinating stamp if you wanted to, to stamp any of the sentiments as well, and then use a coordinating die to die cut those. Now I do have an A2 size white card base here, and I've actually used the Gina K Master Layouts 2 to die cut that rainbow foiled card front. And it just leaves that really nice stitch detail around the edge. I'm just using some Barely Art glue in the in the Misty um, glue press. And I'm going to just go ahead and adhere that onto a piece of Gina K blue denim cardstock. Just going to give that a really good press. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of foam adhesive from scrapbook.com onto the back and a little bit of glue over top of that just so that I can wiggle it into place into the right place on the front there. Just leaving that nice white margin around the edges. Now I did use the Gina K Master Layouts 12 to die cut a stitched circle. And I've added some foam adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L on the back of the Make-A-Wish sentiment. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that onto my card front with a little bit of foam adhesive as well. So you can just see that finished card is so sweet. Now I'm going to use the coordinating Make-A-Wish stamp and some Gina K ink in Wild Dandelion. I'm just going to stamp out the ice cream cone just to create a little bit of a different color application for my project. So instead of foiling for the ice cream cone, I'm going to use stamping. And so I'm going to give that just a few um, 
stamps here to make sure that it's pretty solid. And then I'm going to take a Picket Fence Studio pint size pouncer and I'm going to just pick up a little bit of Tangerine Twist ink from Gina K. I'm going to just add that around the edges of the stamp and then I'll stamp that over top of the Wild Dandelion and it's just going to give that little bit of depth and dimension. Now here you can see again I use the Gina K Master Layouts 2 to die cut out the balloons. Um, that has the stitch detail around the edge and then I used the coordinating die for Master Layouts 2 to create a mat from some passionate pink cardstock. I'm going to adhere my card front onto the mat with again with the Misty Glue Press here and get that adhered and again I will use a little bit of the wider tape on the back of that just to give this a little bit of dimension on my card front as well. So I'll just adhere that foam tape onto the back in strips. I'm just using my Spellbinders uh, scissors here that are really great because they are Teflon coated and they do not stick to any adhesive, which is amazing. I'm going to add a little bit of that liquid adhesive onto the back again, just to allow me to wiggle this into place onto my A2 size white top folding card base. Again, leaving that really nice white margin around the edges. I love that look. And I actually used uh, another rectangle die from Master Layouts 2 to create a spot for my little ice cream cone and my sentiment. So I've die cut that um, ice cream cone from the coordinating die set and I'm just going to glue the ice cream top on top here. And of course that's foiled, which looks amazing. I'm going to put a little bit of foam tape on the back of the cone and the happy birthday sentiment just to pop it up a little bit on that white cardstock. So really love the combination of the stamping and the foiling. I think it looks great. I think it's a really nice contrast and I love that look. I love the versatility of the pink and main foilables and the coordinating stamp sets. I think it's genius. And Pink and Main actually has a ton of foiling products in their shop. So make sure you check it out. Um, I love that. And I think it's just a really fun way to add some cool different looks to your projects. Now that's all adhered together and that's going to finish off my cards. So friends, make sure you check out the coordinating blog post that is linked up in the description box below. We are doing lots of giveaways for the birthday celebration this week. So make sure you check that out. Have an amazing day, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.